Alright guys, so at this point I think you all know that Android P is available for all the project tribbles, Snapdragon smartphones and this is a major development in the Android history. I mean this is the future of Android, you will be able to install any generic system image of any project tribble smartphone. That is the only reason Google is asking all the brands to develop project tribble based smartphones. So in future if the smartphone reaches its EOL that is end of life, you will be able to manually install the latest Android upgrades using project tribble and the generic system image. Image. And a huge thanks to Irfan for developing the Android P generic system image. I mean previously it was like a dream, it was so difficult to port each and every custom firmware for any smartphone but right now I think it is way easier and we are gonna talk about the latest updates and we are also going to talk about the more devices that has been added to this development i mean the devices that you will be able to install android p right now along with the procedure of the same so first off regarding the latest update and the fixes post gsi files have been updated as you can see the latest version of post gsi 1 is 10 and the latest version of post gsi 2 is 13 and it's not like that you will be able to install these post gsi files on every other smartphones it is causing boot loop for a few smartphones you can install not so latest version of post gsi files for example i did the same for the redmi 5 plus as you can see this is the redmi note 5 redmi 5 plus and i have installed the post gsi 9 and the 12th version of post gsi 1 and post gsi 2 so it is working absolutely fine as you can see i have successfully installed uh, the pixel launcher the launcher has been fixed and to be precise with you guys i have been using this particular firmware for around two days i can say that this is one of the most stable custom firmware i have seen of android p right now i mean it is fully functional that means you can use the settings you can use any applications like snapchat is also working youtube is also working and you can also play all the sounds that means So as you can see, every sound is working right now and the applications that are made using Flutter are also working. Yeah, this is the Play Store. I've installed the latest Play services to get it working and I've also installed the Snapchat using this particular Play Store only so it is working totally fine. This is the Chrome, working totally fine, no problems at all. And I tried two camera applications, the Gcam mode, which is not working at all. But the open camera is working absolutely fine, guys. I mean, you can snap the photos right now. But the huge problem for Indian users is that the VoLT is not working for a few smartphones. But for a few smartphones, a good news, like a few users are saying the VoLT is working for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and OnePlus 5T also. So that is a great news. Another major bug is that users are facing call drops and network issues while making calls. So that is a huge bug. Apart from that, this is one of the most stable firmware you can use right now. I mean, based on Android P, this is beautiful it is speedy faster smooth i really cannot believe that android p got ported for all the snapdragon smartphones i mean a great thanks to irfan definitely it would be great if you can support him i will leave all the links in the below description box so if you want to send him some donations or anything else it's your wish but this is i think historical moment right now android p on all the smartphones Alright, so right now we are going to talk about the latest devices which actually got working Android P generic system image. So first one is Lenovo P2 and second is LG V30, Moto G5. I haven't tested on the Moto G5 yet because the Treble firmware is not available. But the developer is saying that it will be available in a few days so you will be able to test it. And next is the Moto G5 Plus. And if you want to see how to install it on the Moto Z Play, you can open this link. This is of github and you can open this link you can find the moto z play section right here and there you will find the working tested vendors and additional installation nodes so as you can see it is tested and booted on experience 12.1 next is oneplus 5t oneplus 5 redmi 3s 3x prime and redmi 4 prime redmi 4x redmi 4a redmi 5 plus redmi note 5 india i've already made a video on that xiaomi mi 5 xiaomi mi 5s and Xiaomi Mi 6, the Mi Mix 2, Mi A1 is also got it working despite of having A slash B partition but it is lagging like hell so I won't recommend anyone to download and install it. You need to wait a little till Irfan post a full firmware for A slash B partition so just wait a little and next smartphone include the Redmi Note 4 which is the famous smartphone of the year 2017 
and next one is the redmi note 5 pro the another famous smartphone of the year 2018 and last two smartphones are zook z2 plus and zook z2 pro so basically this is the list of devices which got fully working android p generic system image and you can open this link and you can also find the bugs that the users are facing on this device and at this point i think it can be installed on any project treble smartphone all you need is a perfect method of course i won't be able to buy many devices but i will try my best to bring you the specific methods for installing android p generic system image on particular famous smartphones like zenfone m1 and mi a1 and the Moto G5 Plus is also work in progress so I will try my best to bring all the videos to you guys also we got some exciting news about Android 10 that is Android Q Google is planning to use the Vulkan API for graphic rendering in Android 10 actually this feature Google was planning to implement in Android P but due to the shortage of time Google is taking this step ahead and planning to implement it on Android Q so yeah you're gonna see an amazing graphic rendering performance by the way guys just send hours to go and google is planning to do a ama session that is ask me anything session on reddit android developer community so you'll be able to ask anything about android p I'll leave the link in the below description box so you can check that ama session and i'm gonna cover that also i'll post a video of the same tomorrow so don't forget to subscribe like this video and peace out